Hi, beautiful. What's going on? This floor is really slippery. <sighs> There's not enough running distance. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> You're looking stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. Also, you can see in these sunglasses why I'm always blinded when I'm doing these videos. Sometimes I can't see the screen because there are so many fucking lights in my face. You think I was gonna block those blue eyes from you today? Absolutely not. That's the only thing I got going for me. Gotta get those things out. Today, we're doing the classic. We're watching Butterfly Cuts. Oh, we love them. It is the best cut ever, besides all the other ones that I showed you how to do, because if I showed you how to do them, they are beautiful. No, honestly, there's so many great cuts. The Butterfly Cut, or the Wolf Cut, or the Sabrina Cut, they're all linked below. Also, before you skip over this, please don't, please stay. At the end of the video, I want you guys to vote on which look was your favorite, and explain to me why if you want to. And honestly, if you're not already subscribed, come back again next week and just subscribe because then you'll get notified if you turn the notifications on and then we can do this all the time and there's a lot of announcements today i want to start giving you guys personalized hair advice at the end of every video like i used to do yay i know you guys missed that all you gotta do is follow me on instagram it's linked below it's also at ramondo nyc secondly comment down below what you want to change about your hair and the advice you're looking for and make sure to include your instagram handle i will be putting your pictures in the video so make sure that you want to be included inside the video if you are commenting below. I cannot wait to start this up again. You know, we can build this community back. I feel like I've kind of lost my sh for a little while, but now I'm back to it. I'm just gonna shut the f up now and watch some crazy butterfly haircut transformations. Today I am going to cut my hair. I am going to try to achieve this viral favorite, you know, butterfly cut. I don't have any layers. I was cutting it recently just straight and I think I am a little bit bored of it. You're you're bored of it? I'm bored of it. And I just met you. Your hair is beautiful. Love the color. The vibes are good. The vibes could be great. What we're gonna do today is bring those vibes from good to great. Your one length cut, just not my favorite. I definitely think you are going to benefit from the butterfly cut. If you have not had layers in your hair in a while, trust, trust, trust. Guys, I don't know who made it a thing to have a one length cut. I think it's a very fashion forward kind of cool cut temporarily, but for an everyday look, I just think layers add a lot of movement and body to the hair that most people lack and need. So one length is is just heavy. It doesn't do anything for your face. It kind of just is weighty. That's the word of today, weighty. So let's see how it goes. First, we are going to separate the hair. Well, <coughs> um, your hair is not wet. <laughs> On a shooting star that people would wet their hair. It's not a lot that I ask for. Wetting your hair and not starting at the root for a virgin color application are just the two things that I ask for repeatedly and I can't get. I know if you've been a long time viewer of my videos, then you will know that wetting your hair before a cut just helps get that natural wave or curl pattern out of the hair. Plus, clumps the hair together so it doesn't all fall to pieces on the floor. It's cleaner, it's gonna make your hair cut more precise, and sectioning is gonna be a lot easier. You can just kind of part the hair and comb it into the place you want it to go, and it'll stay there because water is heavy, and it helps kind of keep the hair in place easier. Do it like that. Or you can also straighten the sh out of your hair before you cut it. Make it pin straight, zero curl, zero wave pattern, and you'll be great. Unicorn ponytail will be somewhere here. It looks okay. I mean, you clearly didn't watch my video. That's fine. I mean, I don't know who's you watched, but it wasn't mine because I did say pull the hair to the middle of the eyebrows. The reason why I asked for that. If you end up cutting a lot of hair off of that front ponytail and it is pulled to the upper forehead, you are going to end up with very short bangs. And I don't want that for you. We want more face framing layers. So we're not going to bring the hair all the way up here. We're going to bring it down here. That way you still get short face framing layers, but they do not look like straight across bangs. And now I'm going to do the ponytail on the top here. So this is how I separated it. Um... The top ponytail is a vibe. It's a little bumpy. Just be careful of those bumps because it does affect the haircut, but otherwise it looks pretty good. We are going to try Try to start somewhere here and I'm going to cut about this much. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, Clara. That's a lot of hair. And actually, I'd love to see it. I'm just fing with you guys. This is the vibe. This is what we need to do. It's gonna make a great difference on her hair. I mean, you can see those ends. The last inch of her hair is very sparse. This cut is really going to thicken up her hair, make it have a lot more body, a lot more movement, and also just feel more dense. So that's gonna be great for her. but it's always this first cut that gets me. I'm like, ah! Like, it's so fun, but it's like, ah! Are you sure? Also, can you guys stop putting music in your videos? I can't edit properly if you have music in your videos. And I think I'm going to go in there like this a little bit. All you guys out there, love the point cut. Honestly, point cutting is fine. Again, I always say just not so much this way, a little bit like this, a little bit like that, and cut into the hair. Not so boop, 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 boop. Also, there are so many packs of scissors that come with thinning shears and just regular cutting shears. I recommend getting that and using the thinning shears on your ends. If you have really thick hair like this, it will really help blend those layers in nicely. But because you have so much elevation going on and you are cutting everything at once all together, your cut is going to be very seamless and very blended no matter what, no matter how thick your hair is. Like you're not going to get shelfy kind of layers. This is a very wispy layered look. So I'm going to put this on the side because I cannot see. Feel free to let the ponytail down after you do the front section. I didn't even think about the fact that people probably couldn't see while they do the back. <laughs> My bad. I have actually so much hair. I hope I can cut it good. Holy shit. Yeah, you do. You have so, so much hair. This cut is going to look oh, so good if you can do it right. And I'm going to cut about this much. It's pretty a lot. Now I'm getting scared. Ah! Yo, you really went for it. Oh my God. Guys, it's gonna look good, right? What if it looks terrible? Eh. I always blame myself if it looks bad. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be quick reveal. <sighs> so let's see. Okay, <laughs> moment of truth. She's about to let her hair down. Let's see what the results are. I'm just a little worried that they're not even. She didn't cut the same amount off the front as the back, and so it's gonna be kind of like a little weird and disconnected. We'll see. Oh, oh, sh <laughs> What's going on with the layers? Um, where did your length go? The front looks looks a little bit scary. I am not going to lie to you. Um, the back will definitely help with the fullness. It definitely has a lot to do with how high you elevated the front section. That was very high. I cannot see much right now. I have to go look for the big mirror. Definitely all of her hair is in the back of her head because damn, that just got thick all of a sudden. It has definitely lots of layers. My hair feels so much more better actually. My head doesn't feel that heavy. How is it in the behind? Okay, so far, uh, uh, a little choppy in the front, scary. Back is looking okay. I need to see it styled though. That's when this haircut really comes together. I absolutely love it. I just did some quick blow dry, nothing crazy. My hair feels so light right now. Look. I think I went definitely to a better haircut, so I'm happy about it. I feel just a little bit that here in the front, it's like too heavy. Yeah, I feel it's a little bit better actually. My hair is electrizing so much. It's like giving this shape, it's not that harsh, I would say. I think it's pretty good haircuts to be done at home. Uh, I just got chills. I'm so stupid because like, why am I getting chill? I get chills over haircuts that I like and colors, anything 
about her. She looks phenomenal. Like that just changed her whole face. It makes her look even like more friendly, more fun. I just love it. It's very feminine, very beautiful. But she did say the same thing I was gonna say, which is that the front pieces are choppy. You need to cut them in curtain bang style. Pull it to the other side of your head and cut them so you get more of that diagonal moment to the front of your hair. Cause right now it's a little bit disconnected. But otherwise, beautiful. And I'm glad you cut so much off because it really made a difference in your haircut. Whoa, that's gonna be hard to beat. Let's see if anybody else can do a better cut. We're doing some a little crazy. I am cutting my hair at home by myself. <sighs> Elena, your hair is so long. Oh my God, that is like down to your hip. I cannot wait to see this transformation. This is gonna be mega iconic. Well, with Brad Mondo's help through his tutorial. And I know if he's watching this, he would be screaming, uh, girl, cut that hair. <laughs> girl, cut that hair. I haven't gotten my hair cut really in I don't know how long other than a trim from my mother-in-law. So I know I want to take a little bit of length off, but nothing too crazy since I'm doing it myself. And then some layers. The thing though, is that your hair has gotten so long, it doesn't all reach to the ends of your hair. You know what I mean? Like everything starting at your root does not go to the ends. Some people's hair does do that. Like it will not break off and snap as it gets longer. Some people don't have as strong of hair and some people's hair starts to break and snap in different places, which then contributes to the very thin end situation. But thankfully we're fixing it today. Per instructions, my hair is completely wet and brushed out. Okay, so I'm gonna find the apex of my head, which is where the comb would sit. It's like right about there. I'm gonna take the pick end, the apex down behind my ear, making a straight line. As you know, this is not a tutorial. This is me following. Brad Mondo. Hey guys. You are eating. You are slaying the hostile boots. Great job. And I cannot wait to see how this, this storyline goes for you. Um, is that like a straight line? Wow, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. If you've made it this far in the video, this is the time where I ask you to please like the video. That would be really nice for me. If you would like me to stay on this channel for five more years, I don't even know how long it's been, probably six, seven years, I don't know. If you would like to make me stay here for longer, like the video. All right, other side. Listen, Elena, I'm not gonna lie. That was some of the worst sectioning I've ever seen. And that's okay. Cause guys, with the butterfly cut, you do not need to make the sectioning perfect. It just needs to be good enough. And this is good enough. I feel like everyone makes this look so easy online. Is it because I have like an extra foot of hair or is it because I don't know, I'm overthinking everything? Yes, you are overthinking everything because it is <laughs> as simple as putting your hair into some ponytails. So I'm sorry, but it, it's really simple. So now I'm gonna do a smooth, as smooth as possible ponytail. <laughs> uh, hello? <laughs> Miss Manny Quinn, are you okay? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling a pulse. Uh, hello, Miss Manny Quinn? There's something going on in that closet with these mannequins. Something is wrong because this is the second Manny Quinn murder of the week. And I've had enough. You, Brittany Manny Quinn, I loved you. And luckily, you're gonna be fine because you're already dead. So like, whatever. But I'm sorry that you got killed, but you did deserve it. You were very mean to those other girls. I didn't mean to make this upsetting for everybody. And I, sorry, if this is a tr I should have done a trigger warning because I, I just didn't know that she was gonna f die while I'm filming. I'm going to find out what happened and I will let you know. But for now, she's gotta go. We gotta put you to rest, baby. She looks actually okay for being dead. Sorry. That got weird. <laughs> I need a moment. Sorry, I just came back from her funeral. <clears throat> it was a beautiful ceremony. A lot of many couldn't showed up and um, we all said our goodbyes. Sometimes that happens. Don't be too alarmed, it does happen. They do many of times end up in my bed, dead, in my on my couch, dead, on this table, dead. They get in a lot of fights and the fights are vicious. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, let's get back to what we came here for and try to just move on and you guys can all say your goodbyes to Miss Brittany Many Quinn down below. How do people do this? 
Is it because I have like so much stinking hair? This is not what I normally do. I literally put my hair up every day or I straighten it and then the occasional curl. So like even just parting my hair seemed daunting. I love that she has her hair wet. I can't see anything. You know that I said a million times and today that I love when the hair's wet. Not wet, wet, wet. <laughs> 2023, we're doing what we want and taking some chances, huh? <sighs> Elena, I love you. You have great energy to you, but you didn't put the hair in the middle of the eyebrows. It's one of the only things that I asked for and it's one of the things that people never do. So the next step is to make this half like a high Ariana Grande ponytail, I think, kind of like on the apex right up here. I feel like the best way would be flipping my hair over. I got it smoother, but it's not anywhere near the top of my head. So I need to work my way up top of my head. All right, I got it as high and as smooth as I could. That's not high. That's merely a, a cheer pony. We're looking for a Miss Ariana Grande pony. <sighs> Whatever. Ooh, it's gonna happen, guys. I think I'm probably gonna end up taking a whole comb's length off. If you only do a couple inches, Brad says you won't see a difference. And I know that's not like the amount off of my length. It's just layers. And I want to see a difference. Sorry, I just realized again just how long our hair is. Oh my God. Guys, I am so nervous. Me too. It's the slowest cut I've ever seen in my life. The anticipation is killing me. I thought it was gonna be like, but no. Is that even? Oh my God, that looks so much better already. The blunt ends, just, it's already looking much better. The other issue is that we did not elevate the section. It's supposed to go this way when you cut, not this way. Elena, I thought you liked my videos and watched them. What happened? There's the front. Oh my gosh, it's a lot shorter. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back. Woo! That looks like a lot. Why am I more worried about this one? Probably because I realized how hard it was to cut this one. It really is just such few pieces of hair because the hair needed a cut so desperately. Like it's like a thousand strands of hair, which is not very many. It might not make that big of a difference, but we'll see. My stepmom's a hairdresser and she's probably squirming right now. Guys, are these not sharp? Or like, why is this harder than I feel like it should be? Moment of truth, guys, do I cut more or do I leave it? Can we see how it looks first before we start cutting more? That is such little hair and so much hair at the same time. Oh, we're going in for round two. She's like, you know what? Yeah, I feel like doing more. I love how we didn't even look at the cut down before we started cutting more off. Like you guys can take it down and look and then go in a few more times. Like there's no pressure to get it right the first time. All right, that could have been worse. <laughs> Oh, we're going in again and 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 oh my god hold on let's just see it let's just see the cut there's no harm in us looking at it right let us take a peek oh my gosh <gasps> yeah wow okay there's some length off of it oh oh i can't tell like what is going on to be completely honest i wouldn't say it's horrible kind of looks like a little shelf right there maybe i need angle cut a little <laughs> the front always gets me because it really is so much angling like there's so much layers it gets really short in the front and then you have your length in the back but wow this is a drastic change all right so obviously it's still damp and all of that but i don't know i don't feel like it's too bad you can definitely see the layers down in here nothing too short or crazy which is fine i didn't want to go crazy my first cut and like ruin my hair or something but i definitely have some length gone hey guys it is the next morning look at my hair honestly i think it looks pretty good lots of layering in the front i feel lighter and my hair feels healthier I feel like in the back you can't see as many layers necessarily but i'm still happy with it you think it looks pretty good you just had one of the most drastic changes within 15 minutes that looks incredible like you have a style now you have a vibe it's so beautiful the layers look incredible it just changed up your entire vibe your hair was wearing you before and now you're wearing your hair it just looks so good you look you have more confidence oh it couldn't have been better that looks awesome and you just did a, such a great job at cutting so much hair off that it makes a great big difference and your hair looks so much thicker which is my favorite part of all today i am cutting my hair off at the young bag go today and <laughs> it looks so good maddie you're so cute um gusto kong hairstyle ngayon ay 
wolf cut like that. Okay, wow, a lot to unpack right now. Okay, so the title says, I thought I was doing a wolf cut, but it turns out I was doing a butterfly cut. So she's gonna be referring to a wolf cut the entire video, but she's doing a butterfly cut apparently. So we're gonna see how that goes. But this haircut is really short. The one that she's showing us, I don't know how she's gonna get that. Usually people want to maintain their length and add layers. So she's gonna have to do a, you know, a cut all around the head and then add in the butterfly portion of the cut after so that she has the length how she wants it and then she adds layers on top of it. Let's start by combing my hair. So this is the before. Okay, so her hair is like to here right now and it's so thick and dense and all one length. So this is going to be another dramatic before and after. When we go from one length to adding all this body and movement to the hair. It's just really dramatic and really changes the face. And that's what I think is so cool to watch in these videos, just how much the butterfly cut transforms your face. It's tired now. Actually, Sabi is front down. So here, I guess. The hair is dry. I'm never gonna get people to wet their hair, am I? I'm never gonna get them to do it. I think that's just something that I have to live with from now on. That's okay, I, I can't live with That's something that I can live with. There's a lot of things I can't live with. That one, fine. I'll f***ing take it, okay? The sectioning is, is kind of getting wild. There is a definite lack of sectioning, right? So we're just kind of brushing the hair forward and we're gonna pull it into a ponytail in the front of the head. But there is a lack of finding where the apex is and sectioning could be fine, could mess up the haircut a bit. If you take hair from too far back here, you're gonna end up with weird layering that falls to the back of the head instead of falling to the front. That's why we have to find the apex of the head because anything beyond the apex falls to the back. And we don't want that. We want everything to fall to the front. That's sectioned in that front hair. When we cut it, we want all that hair to be the same. And then we want everything in the back beyond the apex to be the same as well. So things don't get mixed around and you end up with a weird kind of like shelf in the back. Another video, another incorrect ponytail in the front that is at the top of the forehead instead of being in the middle of the eyebrows. And you know what? It's another thing I'm gonna have to add on that I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life. Get me out of this box. Ah, get me out of this box. We're going for it with some kitchen looking scissors or some craft scissors. Oh, another thing that I love to see. <laughs> We're cutting a lot of hair off though. About that much. Excited, nervous, panicking. Oh, those ends look thick though. I love a thick end. That was quite a bit. It's gonna make a really beautiful difference and I can't wait to see it. Oh my God, bro. Oh, oh my God, let it down already. I wanna see it now. Pull this out first. Then I think I'm gonna give it a <laughs> That is some short, beautiful layering. Oh, yes. Yeah, it looks good, no man. Feeling good. <gasps> oh my god. It looks so freaking good. She scared the shit out of me for a second. I love how happy she is. It does look so good. Is that it? Are we gonna do more? Oh yeah, we're doing more. We're gonna cut more off. Okay, I didn't think it was over yet. Let's see if she ends up screwing it up because it already looks really, really beautiful. Where are we gonna go from here now? How are we gonna get better? I'm kind of upset because the second time she sectioned it out and put it in a ponytail, it was worse than the first time. So we have a good result and now we're just gonna like f it up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> She's so me when I got my hair done. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is my hair when it's curled, and I think it's pretty good. I just preferred it straight. Amazing, beautiful, super quick and easy. I love the results. The great part is that her natural texture looks 
so much more enhanced and gorgeous with this new cut. I think this looks dope. Congrats. And I love, again, the confidence that washes over people when they finish doing the butterfly cut. Like she just looks like she has never seen herself look that good in her whole life. And she maybe hasn't. Okay, we made it to the end of the video. Let's vote on what look is your favorite. Here are all three looks. Vote down below on what your favorite was. I don't know. Honestly, they were all my favorite. They were all so, so cute. But Maddie, I don't know. Maybe it's her youth and how adorable she is. I just think she was so freaking cute. And then she just looks so cool at the end. I don't know. They were all my favorite. They were so good. There was nobody that was like bad. Let me know what your favorite is down below and why. The butterfly cut is seriously such a universal cut. Like anybody of any age, ethnicity, curl, wave pattern, if you have really straight hair, dark hair, light hair, anybody and everybody looks good with the butterfly cut. If you haven't given it a try yet and you want to cut your hair yourself or you're used to cutting your hair yourself, give it a go. Make sure if you didn't watch the beginning of the video, you also enter to get a shout out from me at the end of my next videos. All you gotta do is leave a comment below with the hair advice you're looking for from me and your Instagram handle, and you may be featured in one of my next videos. And you can keep commenting the same comment over and over again until you get a reply from me. If you wanna check out my hair care brand or my hair color brand, you can do so with the links there down below or go to xmonohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.